What's up, man? It's Dubby, and Man18 is here, and I want to give y'all this whole Green Bay Doubles mini scheme. But before I drop the next video, I want to get 100 likes on this one. Please, please like and subscribe. And this is the first play I'm going to show y'all, which is one of my favorites, Flanker Dig. I used it last year a little bit, and this year it's even better. All five receivers, once again, are an option. I love plays like that. Attack all areas of the field. Here we go. You have what you have here. The deep in route on the right to mix with the table route. That will play the hard flat or the cloud flat. Over here you see they play off coverage. So you can hit the running back and get yards with your playmaker. And if it's a hard flat, you can go ahead and hit the in route. Kind of like a curl. Boom. Right there. Hold a while. Man coverage will come back and get the ball. That's Mohamed Sanu on Skander. Most every wide receiver will be able to win on the in route. There you go. Quick release to your running back. Make a move. The jukes and the spins are real good this year. So the quicker you can get the running back the ball, the better. Well, that's why I love this play. And the other reason I love it is this quick little tight end in route. Always good for a quick first down during the game. The tight end in route, especially when people don't expect it, is mostly open. Not a lot of zones are going to come down and get that tight end in route. It's really good. Uh, this is pretty much what makes the play, though, is the post route. That's why I like to put Julio Jones out there in a the left wide receiver. The post route. So you make them pay all that attention to the running back and the in route combination. But then you got Julio Jones on the post coming left to right. That you can go under the yellow zones. Always The main setup I do for this play is streak wide. So he takes the deep blues away and you can go to post. Bang. Right in between the deep blues once the wide streak clears them out. Once again, this time, switch to man. You can lob it. Julio Jones just scorches his man on outside. Big play for your offense. But like I said, what makes this play is the quick reads on the right, quick read to the tight end, and then the deep reads to the streak or the post. You know, and a lot of times with this play, because you have a streak in the post, the vert hooks and the soft squats will go deep. And boom, and that'll leave the tight end drag or the tight end route wide open to get big yards on. Once again, cover two, pass leader to the left and up to keep it away from the strong safety and get big plays with Julio Jones. There you go, quick, quick, you get a little pressure, you can snap and throw, hit the tight end on the end route or the drag, whichever you choose to use. Here it is on the other hash, it's really not dependent on what hash it is. You can use it on both hashes effectively. You get hard flat, you can hit the end route. There you go. Once again, you see all the zones going with A, but then I got B back over across the middle. They all went with the deep routes and leave the two short ones underneath for big plays. Once again, boom, I got pressure. Hit my tight end, get down, get five plus yards on a quick route like that. There you go. This, that's like spinner. Boom, you can hit that in route kind of like a curl. We hit it right when he breaks. Boom, and after this, I'm gonna show you guys a couple plays where I ran this already in game and use it very effectively in all areas of the field as an effective play that you can use to get chunks of yardage to all five receivers. And I'll show you how. Boom, there it is, the post route cover two, lead it up. Get, get the ball in Julio Jones' hand. So here we go on the 39 yard line. Boom. Got it. Somebody got some pressure. Hit the little baby in route to the tight end. Here we go again. You got to put a hard flat over here. I'm going to give the ball to my playmaker. Come out here. Make some plays with Tevin Coleman. Get extra yards. Once again, nobody out there. You have to make them respect the running back. Running back table route has been dominant in that and they're just as good this year too. Here we go. This time I smart routed the post route. So it, it went a little shorter and then go back into the end zone. That's one of the effective things I do with this play is the smart route, the post route. Here you go. This is cover three. Just bombs away because he pressed on the outside. Allowed me to just loft it up to Julio. I had in the slot right there. But Julio and Gabriel both can get it done. Here you go. Cover three again. Post route. Boom. As soon as he breaks, if you smart route it, it won't be as deep. You'll be able to hit that quicker and further away from the deep blues. And we'll, oh, in route. See hard flat, you hit the in route. Right in front of Richard Sherman. Not much he's going to do about that. Once again, I got the post route, smart route it. 
block the running back, give me a little bit of time, hit the tight end, possession catch, get some extra yards with Hooper. Not Gronk, that's Hooper. Get the tight end the ball, it's hard to take down. This is really one of my favorite plays in the Green Bay doubles. Attacks all areas of the field, you know, and I use it a lot. You know, it's pretty much been my base play so far in these first couple hours of Madden. You know, like I said, once I get 100 likes on this, I'll release the next play. Give you guys the opportunity to keep improving your Green Bay double scheme. This is in the Green Bay playbook, and it's really one of my main plays. Probably the first play I come out of the huddle with of every game I play. I hope you enjoy it. Like I said, 100 likes, hit the subscribe, comment about what you like about the play and what else you want to see. And I'm going to drop probably five or six more plays in this scheme. Like I said, 100 likes, hit the sub. Thanks, fellas. Be back soon.